Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris as the Guy in Vacation Resorts Corporation, and we are in a war against two, that's right, not one, but two fallen empires. Well, one's technically an awakened empire, I suppose. And of course, as is the uh, the right way to, to deal with any sort of combat, we've got our, our forces split between the two fronts, because, you know, why would we focus on one? Actually, it turns out we don't need to focus on one, which is why we're doing it this way. We've got our cleanup force one over here fighting the awakened, um, fo awakened fallen empire. Is just awakened empire? Yeah, awakened empire over here. The uh, the penury bread uh, crusaders over here, and we are actually I didn't realize this, but they have a colossus over here, Urbeck the unhesitant. Well, we're gonna go into this system. Take out this micro fleet and, and maybe take out that colossus at the same time. Not to mention, just claim the system overall. We do have a transport fleet sitting around here, which helped conquer this planet. Although it's going into possession of someone else, but I guess that's okay. We'll probably backtrack to Pandil over here, which does have a planet. There you go. I was pretty sure, like it's got that. It must have a planet, but I couldn't see it. So we're gonna do that. We got a science ship over there. And meanwhile, the dance instructors are taking out uh, who is still a fallen empire over here. Uh, we actually started this war, and then the other one woke up, so it was a little awkward, but I think we're going to be okay. Um, and we are, we're moving back into Viriac, although it looks like we've already gotten that. We might want to go back and just grab these little individual star systems, but I think the thing to do is going to be to keep striking at these guys' planets. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and set course for Rundor 1 with... I guess that's fine. If the game figures that's faster, I guess that's okay. Although, honestly, at this point, why don't I just jump? It's not like... I mean, there's going to be a star base there that's like 30... 38k. All right, yeah, just just make your way. That's going to be fine. And then the transport fleets are still reassigning or reassembling. And then this is a Federation fleet. I'm going to get you actually to go and do... Okay. <laughs> Wait, really? Hold on, is it possible we haven't taken this planet yet? Aha! Okay. Never mind then. So the dance instructors, that's why you were coming to this system. You're gonna go and bombard core. That's what you're here for. Sorry, it's been a couple of days since the last episode. So... I think that's that. I don't know, we got some construction ships sitting around, but I don't think there's really much for them to do right now. We do have this idle science ship here. You're supposed to be researching projects in this system, especially since those are the projects that are gonna be expiring the soonest here. So pleased to be doing that. Meanwhile, let's see if we can catch that Colossus here. Battling aggressor station. Boom, taking out that micro fleet. Right now, the Colossus is next. It's trying to retreat, damage. but boom, long range weaponry, pretty good. I don't think the Colossus is the most agile thing in the universe either. There you go. Possession has flipped over here. So the Uthublin uh, Gemini is getting ownership of that, but I guess that's okay. And then we're going to go to Paneer Bread 1 over here. And do that, and we'll move our transport fleet over there soon. Uh, this science ship that I believe was at Pandil decided to run away. Uh, probably because some sort of hostile force showed up. Which I guess is fine. Okay. Spaceport under attack. Spaceport under attack. You know, sometimes you get those announcements, but it doesn't show you where. I guess, you know... No, not here. Those are just transport fleets. So, I don't know. Anyway, everyone's busy. Uh, I wanted to say, we are on uh, patch 2.1.2 beta, which, first of all, might it, it would explain why these things are yellow over here. If you're running around with these, you're yellow instead of green. This orbit icon is only going to turn green when someone is in orbit around a starbase that has the crew quarters for reduced upkeep. Otherwise, it's yellow, which is going to be a nice little indicator. The other thing is, there was a bug that was causing fleets to lose health upon merging. That's why we kept getting those repair and, um, indicators. That has been fixed in 2.1.2, so no more, like, random fleet repairs every time we merge up. And the other thing, it's listed under bug report, but in a way it's, it's just sort of a fix or an improvement more than an actual bug. Um, it used to be when you toggle on or off, I suppose, the auto upgrade, you wouldn't be able to save because you can only save a... You don't have enough power? You could only save a uh, ship design if there had been a change, and toggling this box didn't count as a change. So now it does... I guess maybe the dark matter thrusters put us over the limit? 
We also have the Dark Matter Deflectors now, which are clearly superior here. I guess the, um, the auto upgrade isn't happening because, um... Because we don't have any have enough energy here. There we go. Three shields, three armors. It's a little bit more balanced. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, we could possibly get rid of the shield capacitor at this point. I think what I'll do is I'll get an auxiliary fire control. And we could get some regenerative health issues. Yeah. But I'm actually just thinking I'm going to go and double up on the shooty shooty. I suppose we could put a, re um, a reactor booster. And then just load up with more shields instead. That's an idea. I might be happier with this. Okay, let's save that design. And then the destroyer's over here. You've got all the dark matter re reactors and your fine or deflectors. And those are pretty much it in terms of design. Technically, we might still have a cruiser going around and we might have some corvettes going around, but I don't think so. All right, dance instructors are busy bombarding the planet core over here. Now, if I recall correctly, the core had tons of defenses. Yeah, 1,400 defenses. We're at 1.2k army That's strength in orbit. Station. Again, I don't know if that if that counts the um, the you know the presence of the general or anything like that. I don't know. This science ship here, you're on passive. Get yourself back over here. Actually, I don't know why you would have retreated if you were on passive. Construction complete. All right, transport fleet. So we got a bunch that are idle. They're hanging out over here. Okay, so Viriac. Just to simplify things, we're gonna get you guys to merge up. Did I pick some? Oh, I picked up from Cathaya, but that's okay. And actually, the one in Wegmore should also be all right. And I think the hotspot, which is over there, you should also merge into that fleet. Now, where's Aphris? Aphris is over here, and you're on your way to merge up with the fleet in Minchar, although you're going to get stomped along the way. Hold on, we've got to respond here. Um, let me do a jump to here, because otherwise we're going to lose the transport fleet. Maybe what I'll do is I'll split my fleet. If I did it now, I don't know if I would lose my cooldown. So I'll go with everyone. And then, yeah, split fleet. Lag, lag, lag. Okay, nice. So you're going to come back over here to start bombarding, and then cleanup force one is hang out over here. Presumably, this starbase will flip in a second. There it is. Okay, good. Excellent. And you are still heading over that way. So yeah, we'll just guard the sector from just random micro bull crap and do something like this. Okay, feel okay about this. So core is going to take forever. Oops, that's not core. This is the core. Orbital bombardment, capital world. Now if we take out, if we get lucky enough to bombard the fortress, then that will accelerate things dramatically. We have a gateway in the Uflao system. Excellent. Wonderful. Some more mobility. Right, this was halfway through the space previously occupied by the the Savanti somethings. Not the Savanti Council, because they're still there, but the Savanti, whatever the other thing is. And we also have one built over here. So yeah, we have a lot more mobility throughout our land now. Very, very good. Protocols activated. Who does... You want Aurelium for various things? Sure! We're a capped on minerals right now. Or, sorry, credits. I suppose I could go and spend it on some terraforming, but... I'm not as stressed about the being capped on energy bits. Uh, Viriac, how come you guys didn't actually merge together? I might have interrupted things. And then Cathaya. So that's a new fleet that just got spawned, so we're going to get you to do that. And then you two, I think, are coming together. I'll make sure it's an explicit merge command over here. And yeah, we are spawning some new dudes, because I remember making, like, a lot of guys over here. Um, because I knew we'd need big numbers for the core. Because we're probably not going to wait until their numbers are actually down all the way. We're at 1.7k. There's a combat width limit of 10, which is going to be particularly rough with some of these Xeno herds, because they're going to beat us one-to-one. -one. So we do want 
you know, a fair advantage on paper here. Um, assuming those, those last two transports come in and bring us to what? 1.9k? Something around there? I might go at that point, especially since the Bombards will probably have brought this below 15k. Not 15k, 1.5k, but anyway. Numbers are hard. So idle construction ships, I think, is still fine. Uh, you, you are going to move to Pandir, and you're just going to enter orbit for now. Actually, you can land right away, my friend. Oh, and the science ship over here, you're going to go back to survey projects in here. Please and thank you. I don't know if we're going to find much of use. I don't know if they're on dark matter, whatever. It's, uh, there might be a new type of armor, because we're on, like, you know, the class 5 armor, the best armor you can research. But I'm assuming there's another discoverable armor. I mean, I know there's dragon scales and stuff, but I'm wondering if um, if these fallen or awakened empires will have some other tool. Protocols activated. What would you like? Minerals. Yes, I would like minerals. We'll probably have to rebuild some more fleets soon. All right, Viriac. What are we looking at now? 1.9k, sort of as expected. These are guys are down below 1,500. And that guy is damaged. Oh, there we go. Below 1,400. You know what? We're going to go for it. I think it's going to be fine. Again, I don't know if these numbers factor in the skill of the general. I'm going to have to go and assume not, just to make sure no horrible mistakes happen, but there we go. We were actually almost at 2,000, just shy of 2,000, which is pretty nice. Uh, our robots won't have too many morale problems, because they don't have morale, so they're, not, they're never going to break away. They still have these Xenos, although I don't know if these are fighting. I think they start from the outside over here, so the Xenos are going to be saved for last. For, for good or for ill. Uh, sure, I don't know why you're throwing in energy credits that I can't use, but fine. You're in orbit around Pandil over here. And right, you're already landed and you're ready to go. Good, good, good. Okay, we still have a lead. In fact, we're closing in on... Well, not anymore. I was going to say a 2-1 to one advantage. Not exactly. We're cont uh, continuing to have an advantage. Oh, there you go. Huge losses just suffered by the other team there. Okay, good. We're, we're in cleanup mode over here. The core will be ours. Right, so... Because of whatever, we, keep lo we, we take over the colonies, and then we lose control of it to whoever. But it is one of our allies, so I guess that's fine. So cleanup force one and task force compass. I'm gonna get you guys to remerge up, please. Uh, and then we'll move the transport fleet over to here as well. So everyone's gonna group up in Hell's Maw, and then we'll move on on Navi, over here. Deny them a, an international title. Salvage preserved. Dota humor. Uh, Devastator torpedoes. Okay, so no no armor, but there's still some things going on. Uh, and some ships decided to move in here, just probably pathing somewhere random, so we're going to be happy to kill them. Excellent. We've got 100% war exhaustion on the other side. Now, we can't negotiate this one, and they're still not willing to just do the, like, the complete surrender option, because they still have some stuff. Obviously, they'd white peace. Uh, and we're getting pretty high up on the attrition on the other side. At some point, we will be forced to take a right piece. Let's see if we can take a little bit more stuff from these Awakens. Especially since they did go and force quite a few civilizations to bend the knee. So they're going to be a little bit more dangerous as we move forward here. Okay. Meanwhile, Battle on the Core continues, although it's nearly done. I guess we've been on normal speed here. That is done, done, done. So the Dance Instructor is over here. Uh, I think we're going to move to here next. And you're going to path around that way because you haven't quite updated the fact that we completely control this system. Oh my god, there's another planet. Okay, never mind. Well, hey, we get the... Double the bang for the buck. Just enter orbit for now. Uh, we could take them as is, but what we're going to do is they're going to let our people heal before we actually force a landing over here. Actually, I didn't realize it. I think the Federation fleet may have been bombarding Boundary the whole time. No, no, they're just in an odd position. Salvage preserved. So yeah, they're, they're still getting bombarded. I'm still going to wait for the heals to happen. That's going to be okay. Got some more Devastator Torpedo tech. Good. Cleanup Force 1, meanwhile, is still... No, you've been merged up. Excellent. So we're going to go and position ourselves. You've got a lot of stuff here. 
I guess we'll go and position ourselves to bombard the Celestial Throne. So that's their capital. It'll probably take some bombarding to weaken them, especially since we've only got the 10 transports over here. We actually might want to go and build more, complete. more troops to land. But I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know, we'll wait here. Defense platform hull points. Uh... We'll wait on the dev store torpedoes because we got, might get some more parts. I'll pick up the Marauder missiles just again. We're trying to finish up as many non-repeatable techs as we can and see how that goes. Science ship is science shipping. I will also queue up research projects over here. Okay. Handshake protocols activated. First combats. I really don't need energy credits. Come back when you offer me minerals. So everyone is just bombarding. Now, this one here, there we go, we're fully healed up, so I feel pretty secure about attacking. I mean, we're still at 1.6k instead of 1.9. We did lose some things in the previous combat, but that's okay. None, none of the other invasions are going to be quite as tough over here. Salvage preserved. So even if we don't go and wipe out the Awakened Empire, the Panera Bread people, completely in this war, it's okay. And I mean, we are still, like, gaining some territory. We actually gained nothing from the other war. I don't even remember. Oh, we have claims on these guys. We've got claims. Okay, so we have claimed all of their actual planets. So I don't think we have to claim the other systems, because I think they're just going to get GG'd out once we do that. The, the systems, if we don't claim a system, we don't take it in the war. I think it'll just become a blank system. We'll have to take it that way, um, which will cost us a little bit more influence, potentially, um, to, to build an outpost than to just build a claim. But I'm actually not sure, because these are pretty far away from my territory, so probably not. All right, you're done. I think that planet is completely gone at this point. So see this war here. We're almost ready to GG out on our side, too. So, yes, now you can come to Rundor, and you can path in a reasonable manner. Excellent. Good, good, good. So you're going to do that, and then this transport fleet is just going to go ahead and prepare to enter orbit over here. That's going to be fine. If we take a look at Cleanup Force 1 in orbit around Navi... Uh, and our transport fleet here can enter orbit as well. Yeah, that's a lot of strength. 1,700. Sure. Oh, we're capped on minerals. Can we... If I do this... Okay, doesn't reject or anything. Good. Um... We... Are going to... I guess put in our reinforce all. <laughs> 47,000! Although I think this one is incorrect. Yeah, you can see this whole category of battleships here. There we go. 21,000. That makes a lot more sense. So we'll do a reinforce all, and then we'll go ahead and accept so that the minerals don't go to waste. Done, done, done. We don't really need the other ships right now, but I mean, we may as well spend the minerals on it. Who knows? We are in the state at which point, after 2400, I believe there's like a, a mean time to trigger or whatever for the various um, end game crises. So at some point it's going to hit. We just don't know when. New colonies. We're not really creating new colonies. We'll go ahead and get the starbase upkeep reduction. Because, you know, what we need is more energy credits. Well, actually, we're not making that much money, truly. So it's not a bad thing to go and increase the profit a little bit. We'll take out the starbase and then move on to the planet of Rundor with our invasion fleet, which is now down to 1.2k strength. So certainly losing some muscle along the way, although we can attack this one immediately. Governing shift, okay, I don't think I'm bothered by that one way or the other. Planetary invasion begun. Bunch of edicts just expired, we'll go ahead and renew these, no reason not to. Excellent. Any science bits over here? Nope. Oh, uh, there's some, yeah. Construction complete. We have over in Sunny Trails. Why don't you come and research? And you know what? You can probably go ahead and experimental subspace navigation to there. That's probably going to be faster. It's hard to tell because we do get to do some gateway stuff, but probably. And speaking of gateways, I'm sure we're going to want one in this area. At some point, we'll probably move our uh, construction ships in general to go and claim all this stuff. Okay, aggressor colony emancipated. So next stop is Barasta One over here, along with this fleet. Okay, 
and then we're in orbit around the celestial throne 1.4k on the ground we only have about 900 in orbit so we're definitely gonna have to wait for some more bombards over here especially since we don't actually have a general on this group uh we could recruit it or we could just swap back and forth you're gonna be in energy credits i'm gonna decline complete. come back with a better offer uh an admiral just died We've got lots of admirals. Uh, I don't really want the slower guy. Here, brain slugs are good. Go ahead and do that. All right, uh, idle construction ships are fine. This idle science ship can probably come here and survey or research project in the system. More devastator torpedo tech. <laughs> These guys are claiming stuff in our system. Uh, we're going ahead and engaging this starbase. We've definitely lost some ships in this fleet throughout this combat, but we're still going to be doing just fine against the, this. Go. Trigger. There we go. Excellent. Wonderful. It's likely a lot of the ships aren't being repaired in between battles either, right? Because I'm not taking the time to do that, and I don't have all the auto repair tech and things like that in effect. We got some weirdly idle task forces here. They're probably supposed to join up. Oh, not you. Over there. And you guys are probably supposed to join up that way. I assume. Alright, so this planet here, what kind of ground troops are we looking at? 400 strength? Yeah, we can go ahead and attack this right away, and that should be the end of these guys. Salvage preserved. They might not insta GG because we don't have 100% um, occupation. Because we, they still have a little bit of territory. We shall see, though. It will be their last occupied planet, so I don't know what they can do after this has happened. Now, in Navi, we still have to do... Colony emancipated. That did not zoom in on Navi. Oh, it's doing the thing where it's highlighting the, the wrong bit. Yeah. All right, so... Yes, okay, you would go ahead and do this, I guess, because of the occupation. Uh, so if we do this, I think that will end you. Because this is us taking all your occupied planets, right? Boom. Done. The ancient precursor state of the Zhuan Vestige has met its final demise at the hands of its enemies. What the fall of this once great empire will mean for the galactic politics remains to be seen. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. All right. So, a bunch of idle construction ships. I'm going to get you to come over here and take that. And you're going to come over here. I guess we do have the discount to building these, which is kind of nice. You're going to do that, and we have another idle one. I mean, these guys might be coming from very far away, but that's, hey, that's why we have gateways. Won that war. Done, done, done. Too many plants. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, dance instructors over here. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you to get upgraded and repaired at the same time. And then what we'll probably do is send you to the other side. And in particular, this transport fleet over here, we're going to have you come to the Celestial Throne to join that. Hopefully it won't take you too long with the various gateways and things like that. It should be okay. So, too many core systems. We need to have a lot. I think the Happy Trails Prime sector. Where where is you? Oh yeah, we need governors for these things. Uh are gonna extend to here, 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 and there. Bring us to five of five core sectors. Excellent. And I do actually have some space for more governors, so we're gonna go ahead and do that because they do give you a pretty good boost to things including some happiness boosters for oh no brain slugs here we'll just grab this one he's young so he'll live a long time and they'll get to high levels and that's gonna be good okay so that's done you guys are doing that which is fine the fleets are rebuilding which is excellent we do have some unrest in some of these planets that is indeed a lot of unrest or on martial law which will make it like livable but not great We'll uh, prioritize repairing the fortress. That's going to help a lot. Actually, there's probably more than one that's got it. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. We'll probably... We're going to... Oh, we don't have enough points now. Because we are building some star bases. I suppose we could cancel building the star bases to be able to unleash more martial law. That's probably a good idea. Halt, halt, halt.
Oh, that's with martial law. Okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, idle science ships. Research. Research. Where are you? I don't know why you're here. I'm betting that's not going to work. And over here, Navi, you've got nothing to do. Uh, I guess I'll leave you here because there's probably going to be more stuff. Yeah, so you've got nothing. So we'll put you on passive and get you to experimental navigation to reception so you can assist with research way over there. All right. Well, I guess we'll put a cut here. Next episode. Well, next episode, this war is going to end one way or the other. It'd be really nice to be able to take this system here before it ends. It might not be possible. Depends really... I think on when the um, the other transport fleet might arrive. Yeah, 463 days. I don't think it's going to be here in time. We want to take both Celestial Throne and Sky Temple to be able to claim this planet completely in the war. Or the system completely before the war ends. We shall see. I guess we had the, the sort of total war goal against these guys, maybe, because they had the, uh, the Colossus. But that also might have been their trigger for Awakening. I don't know, actually. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.